Hey there Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours. If you have Capricorn anywhere in your charts, this reading is for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Next 48 hours, please. Okay, we have signs and reminders. So definitely you may be seeing synchronicities or some kind of signs. We also have sacred plan. So I feel like there's there's something that you're planning at the moment or there's something that you need to plan. Something needs to be worked out a little bit more. Um, let's get some more messages for Capricorn. Someone rising. Communication is key. So definitely, someone wants to hear from you. We also have you're very close to achieving your goal. Beautiful energy. Okay, let's get one more. <clears throat> Messages for Capricorn, please. Next 48 hours. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. That's too many, Spirit. Give me one card, please. Okay. We have care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Someone may be asking for your help at the moment. I feel like that's where this communication is coming through. Someone wants you to communicate with them. They want you to listen to what they have to say. It's very important to them, I feel. Uh, we also have sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries beautiful message Capricorn okay let's take a look at the tarot let's see what's going on next 48 hours please message for Capricorn next 48 hours Capricorn Sun moon and rising okay we have the six of cups okay so I'm feeling this has to do with family this has to do with something, someone that you care very deeply for, someone who's very close to you, someone who really may be sending you some kind of signal, some kind of communication. They may be texting you. They may be sending you some sort of sign. Now, the I'm, I'm feeling that this is a loved one, a friend, a, a really close person to you this could be someone coming from the past for some of you but I do feel it is someone that you care very deeply for and I feel like it's someone who may be in some sort of trouble at the moment and they're trying to communicate some kind of needs to you some kind of offer um, for some of you I feel like you know I'm getting another message that if this is someone from the past this is someone that you have not had any contact with and you've thought it was totally over you thought that you wasn't going to receive any more contact from this person but this person is contacting you out of the blue they I, I feel like they want to ask you from some for some sort of help okay let's get some more messages for Capricorn <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and clarify these as well. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Cups. And we also have the Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn. I feel like the wheels are finally turning. Like you've been waiting for them to turn for a while. I feel like you are kind of feeling unfulfilled you're feeling like you're lacking some sort of situation um, 
but with this Wheel of Fortune, this is like a turning point. This is a turn in your good fortune. I feel like something that you've been waiting for, something that has to do with your resources, some money coming in, I feel like you're going to get word on that within the next 48 hours. Some kind of communication is coming through that you've been waiting for because I, I really get the feeling that this turning point is because you kind of felt like you've been in this stuck place where you've always been and you are slowly trying to ease out of that energy. Maybe you've been putting in applications or maybe you're changing careers. Um, but I feel like you're kind of slowly moving away from that stuck energy. And the Queen of Pentacles, this is increasing your resources. Um, I feel like this is you finding more stability. Um, someone communicating something very valuable to you that's going to put more excitement back into your life. But you do want to make sure not to miss this opportunity. I feel like this is a blessing that is coming about for you. This is something the universe is providing to you. So make sure that you recognize the signs and, and, and signals of this situation and so that you can jump on it. Because I feel like this is almost like a once in a lifetime opportunity with this Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is very, very important to your future. Okay? Let's get some more messages for Capricorn. More messages for Capricorn, please. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. So definitely some choices need to be made. See the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, Capricorn, if you are open to love, I feel like there's some kind of choice that you need to make. There's some kind of decision. I feel like you need to remove the blindfold to take a look at your situation more clearly. Um, with, this, <clears throat> with this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like this, this is someone who's going to bring a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, a lot of drive. Um, I feel like this is very fiery is what I'm getting. And I feel like if you're looking for love, Capricorn, this is it. This is a great passion. Some kind of very fiery ride you're in for. Something that you're going to really enjoy. You're really going to love this. And I feel like this Queen of Wands is offering you this huge cup of emotion. You know? And I feel like you are going to be very overjoyed with this situation. I feel like this Queen of Wands, you know, this could be male or female energy. It doesn't have to be feminine. But the Queen of Wands is very fiery, passionate. You know, she's also very sexual, um, confident, assured. She has drive, you know. And, and I feel like this is going to be an important journey for you. Wow. At the bottom, we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this is like a balanced relationship. This is something that's going to give as well as take. So I feel, I feel like there's an equal balance here. There's a good vibration. Really good chemistry. You know? I... <laughs> I'm getting really excited just thinking about it because, you know, as I'm taking in this energy, I'm like feeling this drive to be assertive and really take action. You know, I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, just getting up and doing something, you know. So I feel like this is going to be very exciting for you. It's going to bring a lot of excitement to your life. Okay, let's clarify a little bit. Capricorn. 
Spirit, give me a message for Capricorn. What is this Six of Cups, Page of Cups, and Ten of Swords? Tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this. What is this situation? Okay. We have the Eight of Cups. <laughs> Boy, the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is someone that you thought that you left behind. This is someone that you didn't really feel like you were going to expect to hear from. But I feel like this person has some sort of opportunity. They have some sort of need at the moment. Um, which, you know, could be kind of iffy if it's an ex. But I feel like... I feel like this person or you were waiting for a choice to be made. I'm looking at this two of wands and I feel like they're waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for some kind of event to unfold. Some kind of choice to be made before they get up and go on their journey. You know, so I feel like this is a person that that you thought had ended things that you thought you had walked away from because maybe they were unwilling to make a choice. Um, so, yeah, we'll get some more clarification as well for that. OK, let's move on to the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Okay, the tower, the hangman, and the empress. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of life-changing event that's happening. This is something that is an opportunity that's huge enough to change your entire lifestyle. This is life-changing. You, you have the will of fortune, okay? On that, you have the tower. So I feel like this is huge changes that are happening, you know? And I feel like you are gaining this perspective that's like pushing you, driving you into this Four of Cups energy, letting you know giving you signs and signals that, you know, don't sacrifice this opportunity. Don't let this go. Trust. Trust. Trust this advice. Trust your resources. Trust this Queen of Pentacles. If this Queen of Pentacles is coming in to provide this opportunity, Spirit is letting you know to trust. Trust in yourself, trust in your intuition, trust in the universe. Because I feel like this opportunity that's coming through is definitely going to be life-changing. This is huge, Capricorn. Okay, let's take a look at the Two of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Tell me more about the situation, spirits. Tell me more about the situation. Oh, wow. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles. And this one wanted to come out as well. We have the Three of Cups. So, Three, Three. Three, Three is connecting with the Divine. It's also like the Card of Change. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So I feel like with the three of wands, excuse me, the three of pentacles and the three of cups on the two of swords. I feel like this decision that you have to make actually concerns more than one person. It may concern three people. It may be a very important choice. Are, are you 
making a choice between three. I mean, is there three people in your situation that you need to make a choice on? But the situation, a choice needs to make, be made between three. I feel like three is very, very important. It's very significant. Now, at the beginning, we, we have signs and reminders. So, take notice of any signs and reminders. If you see numbers, if you see the same numbers over and over, look those up. Because those could be your angels, your spirit guides speaking to you. They could be very important numbers for you. Okay, what is this Queen of Wands, spirits? The Five of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this Queen of Wands is coming into your life. This may be a three-party situation because I feel like the the three uh, the Queen of Wands is coming into your life because you're feeling unappreciated, unwanted. You know, I feel like you kind of feel left out in the cold. You feel like you're kind of unloved at the moment. So maybe you're already in a relationship and you feel just very emotional about the situation. And this Queen of Wands is coming around showing you this cup of love and all of this attention. And now you have a big choice you need to make. Do you stay or do you go? Tell me about this Ace of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Okay. Be careful, Capricorn. Be careful. Because everything that glitters is in gold. This cup of love. Now, this is only going to resonate with some of you. But this cup of love, I feel like it's not. It's an illusion. There's someone lying here. Someone is not telling the truth. And to be totally honest, it could be you. You could be pursuing this Queen of Wands energy and not letting them know that you're already attached. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, we have the devil on the bottom. So there's definitely some kind of obsession going on. Now the devil, the devil also represents Capricorn energy. So this could be you showing up in your reading. But... Let's see. Let's clarify a little bit more. Let's go a little bit deeper, Capricorn. Okay, give me more messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about this situation? Give me more messages for Capricorn the next 48 hours. Okay, the Ace of Cups again. Wow. The Star. And the Six of Swords. Okay, so the, this person over here, this is someone that you once loved. But I feel like you've, you've moved past this person and you've healed from the situation. Okay, so this is definitely someone coming in from the past. Someone coming in to kind of whittle their way back into your emotions. Okay. Um, tell me more about this power hangman and high priestess the queen of wands temperance and the knight of swords okay so this this situation i already told you that this is a life changing opportunity and i feel like it's very important for you to grasp the situation and take action with this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is all about action, taking initiative, you know, being a go-getter. Um, so I feel like taking action on this situation is going to be very, very important. Um, I feel like, you know, with the Hangman and the Four of, of Cups, I feel like... If you have too much patience in this situation, you may lose the opportunity. You know, make sure that you do your due, due 
diligence with this Knight of Swords energy. Do the research, you know. Um, find out more information. But I feel like this is an opportunity of a lifetime, you know. In the comment section, tell me what this is. I'm very curious. Okay, Capricorn. Now let's get some clear clarity for this last message. Let's get some clarity. Please, Spirit, give me a message for Capricorn. What they need to know for their highest good. The next 48 hours, please. Okay. The Seven of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. And the Justice card. Okay, with this last message, I feel like this is opportunities. But really, I'm getting that this is illusions. This is all an illusion. Someone's not telling all the information. Someone's holding back a lot of information. Someone's keeping secrets. They're not telling the full story. You know? Hmm. We have karma with the justice card. So Capricorn, now I'm, I'm just going to tell you bluntly, that's either you or someone else's energy, but someone's not telling the full truth. Someone's holding on to a lot of secrets. They're not letting this go. They're like holding them tight. They're keeping them all to themselves. Um, and I feel like this situation, this situation may turn very negative and may have a karmic effect. You know, I feel like this person is going to receive their karma sooner or later. You know, some kind of situation. They're going to be rewarded for everything they've done. Now, a reward doesn't necessarily mean it's good. You're rewarded for your efforts. So if you put out good, you receive a good reward. If you put out bad or negative, you're going to receive that negative effect. So, yeah, I'm feeling like this is interesting. Tell me more about this. I need to know a little bit more about this situation. Okay, the Empress. This person may have children. And... Maybe a single parent. They may be moving on. Hmm. Feeling bored in their situation. With this chariot, I feel like this is like a need to move. Like someone's bringing something into fruition. Someone's trying to create this beginning or ending, however this fits. And I feel like this person is bored. They're bored. So they're like trying to find some kind of situation to kind of fill their time. They've already poured out their emotions. And now I feel like they're just causing some kind of disturbance. Because they feel so unfulfilled. You know? They're, they're emptying out their blessings. I don't know why. Whatever this is, I feel like you're moving away from that energy. 
I feel like you see this person for who they are. So you're like moving away from that energy. Which may be a good thing to tell the truth, um, Capricorn. Because, you know, for this last message, I'm just getting something very kind of back and forth. Really confusing. I feel like this person is very attractive. They may have a lot of good values, but... I'm not sure they're trusting the way that they're going. I'm not sure that you trust the path that they're going. Okay, let's get some oracle cards for Capricorn. The answers you need are coming. Okay, so some kind of answers that you need are coming forward for you. You know, um, at the bottom we have step out of your comfort zone. Let's see. Another message for Capricorn, please. Honesty and communication. Yeah, and remember in the beginning we got this communication is key. So really communicating, really finding out more information is going to be very helpful for you. At the bottom we have healing energy. So I feel like whatever energy this is, you're you're moving past it. You You feel like you can't stay in this energy. You know, you feel like this energy is just not meant for you. Because I feel like you're you're moving away from it. Give me more messages for Capricorn. Okay, we have focused intention. Think about what you desire and set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So, set your intention. Set your, you know... Um, your inner compass to detect things that may not be right for you. You know? Um, at the bottom we have soul flame. So there may be someone in this reading that may be a soul flame for you. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience a relationship, harmony, and healing. Maybe the past person. It may be this past person that's coming back that's going to be your soul flame. You know? Um, yeah, look at this. I've I've shuffled the deck and we got soul flame again. So it could be very, very important for you to reconnect with this past person. Okay. Capricorn, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign for more messages. It may give you more clarity on your situation. Okay? And until your next reading, Capricorn, many blessings to you. Love and light.